Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional. And today we're here to review the Scuba Pro Everflex 5 4 wetsuit. These suits come in both men's and ladies' cuts. Uh, men's having bumps for the men's and the ladies having bumps for the ladies. The general look of the suit is uh, pretty much exactly the same, so today we are only reviewing the men's version of it. But just keep in mind if you're looking at one of the ladies that it is cut specifically for a lady, making it a lot more comfortable to wear. So this is a really, really great suit. Quite often when people contact us or they're in our shop and they start discussing the suit, their first reaction is, wow, that's a really expensive suit. But I can tell you honestly, you get what you pay for. This suit is the flagship of all of Scuba Pro suits and by far one of the best wetsuits on the market. And it all comes down to the tiny little nuances and things that they've done within the suit themselves. Something that you didn't know that you needed, but when you've got it, you just can't live without. So let's review the suit itself to check it out. My first impression... It's an all black suit with some really great Scuba Pro accents all over the show. It's broken down into multiple panels making it a lot more comfortable for you to wear. The Everflex suit is made of a super high stretch neoprene so that makes it very comfortable to get on and off and it's really easy. Specifically if you're diving in a hot area where you yourself are quite clammy, having that extra stretch makes it a lot more comfortable. Also with the high stretch, when you're underwater and the neoprene compresses, the wetsuit conforms to your body more, which keeps you a lot warmer, which is great. So going, let's start from the top and work our way down. Great addition to this wetsuit is the fact that it's got this little neck seal over there. So that neck seal, when you're sitting on the boat, I'm sure you've all had it as you're leaning forwards, as the wetsuit's pushing up against your throat, you wind up with that gag reflex. Feels really uncomfortable. Scuba Pro have been really good to put this in as a standard. It allows you to zip it open and it makes it more comfortable on the boat. Also underwater, you can zip it up and down to allow how comfortable you want to be in the water. As you go deeper, if you're a bit cooler, you can just zip it up and that helps a lot more. It's got an extra bit of neoprene on the inside there, which just helps with the, the thermal protection. One of the first things we're going to point out now as far as the little extras that just make this suit that much better is the zip tag over here. Most other people would just have put a little bit of a little bit of string on it to pull it up and down. Scuba Pro, you can see, have put on this branded loop at the bottom. So it says Scuba Pro and it's got, uh, it's made of like a plasticky rubber at the, the top there. But that just makes it so much easier for you to grab it and pull it. You're not dangling your arm trying to find a little thing underwater. This, your finger just fits in like a perfect loop. So one of those small little things that really make the suits amazing. I think popping down is the Scuba Pro logo. On all other suits, you can see that they've literally just printed on the, the logo. This is a specific piece of emblazoned rubber that they've put on there with the Scuba Pro logo and stitched on. So just from a depth of field and a texture point, when you look at the suit, those attention to detail things are really, really great. If we go over the arms over here, the arm pads, it is a different type of material that they've put on the top. It almost gives it a little bit more grip. And then they do have the padded sort of titanium paint at the top. And that protects it from the BCD wearing on your gear as you're taking it on and off. And also underwater as you're moving around and the BCD moves, it just stops the wear. This little bit of uh, rubber at the top there, if you're diving, say, specifically with a Scuba Pro Hydros BCD, which is made of those monpreen straps, it actually grips it quite well. So the BCD doesn't move around as much, makes you feel a lot more secure in the water. So that's on both sides there. If I go down the arms, you can see it's a great Scuba Pro logo over there. Good quality zip on the arms. So they've got zips on the arms and the legs. And the great addition on the inside is this semi-dry seal. So this seal, if you're diving in warmer waters, you don't have to seal it up against itself. You can leave it out. But if you're diving where it's slightly colder, you can fold this in on itself and that creates that extra thermal protection so the water doesn't go the whole way up. Makes a massive, massive difference if you're diving in colder waters. South Africa being a great place to dive. However, our waters are relatively chilly. And if you're in the water and you're cold, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. If you're hot, you can always cool yourself down. But when you're cold, oh, it hicks, it's hectic on that dive. So this is really, really good to fold up and sort that out. As I go down the right, another great little thing that they've added is a hood holder. So there's a little emblazoned Scuba Pro logo there with a clip for you to attach your hood. So if you're walking up and down or on the boat, you can clip your hood on there as opposed to trying to walk around with it with your hand, trying to carry heavy dive gear. There's a great little accent, a black accent color over there. And then the knee pads, 
very similar to the shoulder pads. They have a different material, a stitched material, and then that rubber paint at the top, just to protect the knee pads. If you rub up against the boat, if you happen to be kneeling down in a swimming pool, or if you just rub up against the coral, by accident, of course, because we know we don't rub against the coral on purpose, but should you accidentally rub up against something, gives you a great bit of protection. Down on the leg over here, you can see that it's got the Scuba Pro logo and Blazon Rubber logo as well. But this also serves a purpose. It's there to give the zip extra, extra security and an extra bit of reinforcement at the bottom so it doesn't rip. So if you're pulling the zip up and down the whole time, specifically when you're diving, you're going to lean over and stretch to get it. You sometimes stress the zip. It's a great little addition that they've put on there and the zip's really good quality that they've got there. And on the leg, also the semi-dry seal over there. So you can fold that in against itself to keep you warmer. It's also got that open sole and neoprene over there. So you can put this over your ankle. You can put the boots inside and fold that over the boot and zip it up, giving much more thermal protection when you dive as well. The same goes on the other side of the suit. Both legs and arms are the same there. So let's flip the suit around and see what's going on at the back. So as I turn it around, you can see, first thing I notice is this big bum panel is different to the rest of the suit. It's the stitched panel that they've put over the top that will put up with the abuse a bit better. So Scuba Pro have very, very cleverly and carefully thought this suit out and looked at the points of wear over the shoulders and over the bum area where you're sitting on the boats the whole time and that's a constant wear area. This will allow the suit to age a lot better as well. Great thing at the bottom, you see they've got that Scuba Pro emblazoned logo and the rubber, but also a tag over there for you to get your finger through, which allow you to hold the wetsuit down as you pull it up, so it stops straining the bottom of the zip area. The zip on the suit also, like with all Scuba Pro suits, runs diagonally across your back. It doesn't run straight up. This allows a more ergonomic position for you to zip the suit up and zip it down if you're doing it by yourself. Top tip from me, as always, is try and get your buddy to help zip you up. They can hold it down and zip it up. You can arch your back, which makes it much easier for that zip to zip up and down when you're going out on a dive. This is the difference that gives you those extra few years out of the suit itself. Looking at the zip seal itself, great Scuba Pro and those tiny little nuances, which is great. You can see the zip has been folded over on itself and it's been double stitched. So there's no chance of the zip being caught on the sides of the neoprene. That's a great little addition there. And then over the top, if we check it out, we can see that it's got a great neck seal. So a lot of wetsuits just have a thin neck seal. This has got a really big neck seal, allowing a lot more thermal protection. It also covers the zip. So when this is zipped up the whole way, inside the zip seal and you cover it over that whole zip is covered and hidden out the way so there's no chance of it getting caught on your bcd when you go diving that's a great little thing again scuba pro in those details i think that's an amazing thing the other small thing standard on all suits is the little zip holder so they got that little bit of velcro there that once you've zipped it up you fold it over and that stops the zip from coming down itself and then at the back they have a semi-dry seal down the the inside of the zip itself so you can see over here it's a bit of open cell neoprene that just stops the water from or just reduces the amount of water that goes in the back of the suit giving you a lot more thermal protection and if we look inside the the suit you see it's got this great plush lining it's almost like a like a seal skin hey, if you were to run up to a seal and give it a rub i reckon this is exactly what it would feel like so any water that gets in the suit your body can warm this up so this will make this a super super warm suit when you're when you're out diving so this suit just as the overall thing I think is great those tiny little nuances I know I've mentioned it a few times but that makes all the difference to the suit itself flipping it back over the front the look and feel and just the general quality of the suit is what sets it apart from all the others expensive yes worth every cent though because this is a really really great suit so there's my review of the Scuba Pro Everflex wetsuit available from our website. If you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can follow us on all of our social streams. So social streams and screams and everything. If you go to our stream, you'll wind up having a scream, I promise you. Um, so you can go check it out, facebook.com forward slash scuba.co.za. We've got the Twitters, the Instas and every other new social thing that'll come out. We'll be there. Just give us a search. 
So that's it from you guys, and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, stop it, Lori, stop it, Lori. Wait, wait. Other thing I forgot, we're just sorting it out now because I reviewed the left and not the right. Scuba Pro have this really, really funky thing on the left hand arm called R-Safe. How cool is that? Another one of those little Scuba Pro things that makes this suit all worthwhile. The R-Safe is this funky little strap that they've built into the side of it suit. So you can put your dive watch on it and it threads underneath so if your dive watch or clip ever gets caught while you go diving this will save it isn't that just the coolest thing and i almost forgot to mention it all right see you later